Hi. This is my last whole day in Karnak, right at the top left of Greenland. Uh, population of a few hundred, and it's kind of the main centre. And there's a, a well, there's one settlement, <laughs> two settlements, one called Sierra Paluk, which is further north, which is the northernmost permanently inhabited place in the world. And it's incredible. There's only 12 families that live there. But in June is when things start happening with the food, and it's mountains everywhere, and the green part that just below the snow line um, in June is teeming with millions upon millions of little orc seabirds. There are eider ducks everywhere, so they use the eider down for insulation-y stuff, and the eggs and the meat of the eider duck. Uh, and the first thing we're tasting today is fermented eider duck egg, which is that. Now there's a reason I'm outside, it's because all these foods are very aromatic and I don't want to be charged a cleaning fee by the house I'm staying in. <laughs> but look at that, it's, there's an island just off Sierra Puluk that they say shines like a mirror in June because there's so many eggs there and you have to be careful where you stand because the eggs are just born everywhere on the land. Um, and then they, they keep them and then they, they collect them in boxes and they keep them in boxes until they need them and if they ferment they ferment and most of the time it's a good ferment. I'm not quite sure the science behind it to be fair because all these stuff in the west or in Europe we're told chuck it out after three days so it's not impossible to eat these things without being sick <laughs> um, so this is the fermented egg look at that it looks like what you'd imagine fermented egg to look like and also smells like it too that is all right it's like a strong blue cheese I can eat a whole egg but funnily enough it's got a fine slight eggy taste to it as well an interesting texture but that's okay I can imagine that with a bit of chutney on a cracker actually that's okay